Program Director of Monitoring and Evaluation at the Ministry of Planning and Development, Camille Spencer, says Trinidad and Tobago has had a measure of success when it comes to monitoring and evaluation. That in 2015, for the first time, we developed a national monitoring and evaluation policy for the public sector of Trinidad and Tobago. And I must say that we were the first country within the Caribbean region to actually develop a national m and policy. Ms. Spencer said that this policy enabled the public sector to monitor, measure and report on government's performance. What this policy would have done is that it would have also itemized or illustrated what the enabling environment would look like for m and to be successful here in Trinidad and Tobago. So we will have um, referred to in that policy and what would be coming in terms of training and capacity development, human resource. Chief Technical Director, Performance m and Branch in Jamaica, Craig Beckham, says, however, developing good policies can entail problems. Although we have been doing a lot more in monitoring, there's not much work going on with evaluation. So there's very limited experience being developed. So even when you train people, you know, the skills degree. He notes that business elders are needed, especially in the field of resource-based management, and as such, employing university graduates sometimes can leave workplaces floundering. They have solutions, however. We're creating more opportunities um, for training and development. You know, we're trying to develop a, a suite or a, a set of toolkits and templates that are standard across government that people can use. The conference concluded that getting to efficient monitoring and evaluation may take time, but with continued research and sharing, Caribbean countries will work to receive the benefits that monitoring and evaluation systems can bring. Mary Therese Bernard for TTT News.